Hello again, YouTubes, this is Beanie Bomb, and welcome to Will You Press the Button? I've seen a bunch of other YouTubers play this, and the concept is really awesome to me. Basically, as you can see here, it gives you a scenario. So, if you press the button, you can achieve the power of teleporting anywhere you want, but if you press the button, you will also lose six months of your life every time you do teleport. So, it's a bunch of scenarios that are, like, community-made that's really cool, so let's get into it. So, you can teleport anywhere you want, but you lose six months of your life every time I'd say I'd press it because I mean it's nice to just have the power to if you really need to use it because obviously I wouldn't want to lose six months of my life every time because my life expectancy is already like 10 years less because I have like a heart thing but I mean I think it'd be pretty good to have just in case you like really needed it so yes I will press the button 42% press the button most people didn't I mean it's not like you have to teleport I mean you can if you want oh freaking Freaking people, man. <laughs> that was a good question. I like that one. You can press this button, but it'll trigger a bomb somewhere around the world. How about no? How about we don't just kill people for no reason? Thank you very much. Terrible scenario. <laughs> you have infinite health, wealth, and love, but an uncontrollable bowel and bladder. <laughs> Yeah, I just wear a diaper. Easy. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was pretty split too. I like that one. That was pretty good. You get straight A's, but you poop your pants every time you leave your house. Just wear a diaper. A lot of these could be so just be solved by wearing a diaper. I mean, it's not that hard. <laughs> so you gain the ability to freeze time. Very cool. But you're violently thrown in whatever direction you moved in, I'm assuming, before you froze time. Once you unfreeze time. Um, the main question is in you freezing time, do you affect yourself too? Like, do you just freeze all of time? Because if so, you'll never be able to unfreeze it. You'll just end freaking existence by just having time being frozen forever. So no, I'm not gonna press it. I'm like, gosh, that's a, that's a terrible power, but a good scenario. <laughs> oh, oops. Questions are cut off. Give me a second. A few moments later. Okay, we're back. So you will be able to turn invisible, walk through solid objects, and teleport to any location with an eyesight once a day for three... For three what? For three what? <laughs> we'll just say one today then. But every time you do so, you will lose a cherished memory and forget everything you did the last time you used your powers. Oh man. Oh man. Oh gosh, this one's hard. I think it'd just be too easy to just like wreck yourself with that then. You could like ruin your whole life because memory is really important. So no, I will not. I know last time I said it's not like you had to use the powers, but that just, even if I felt like I had to and I did, it would ruin a lot of stuff. So, uh, so that was a good one though. I like that one. You can shape shift into anything, anyone at any time and back, which is good. But any clothes you were wearing will disintegrate, leaving you naked as whatever you transformed into. Oh, that's that's pretty good. Yeah, it's cool. Just once you transform back into a human, just like go into an alley or something like that. You <laughs> or just stay whatever thing you transformed in uh, until you make it back to your house. Like you could always just like if you transform into an inanimate object, you could just transform into like a hawk and then fly back to your house. Absolutely. That's a good one. I like that one. You get turned into a beautiful girl but you will have the brains of a bimbo. Why would I want that? <laughs> you can read, write, and speak any language. That's amazing. But no one wants to read or listen to what you have to say unless you speak in the language you were originally taught. Yeah, absolutely. That That's really useful because people may not want to listen to you, but like, um, I mean, if no one wants to listen to you or read, then does it really matter that you could speak that language? Huh. Yeah, why not? Just just because it's it'd be well, no one would want to listen to you So even if you were like screaming stuff in Japanese for like comedic people would find it unfunny. Oh, man This is hard. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that just so I can read stuff in other languages for myself Maybe I wouldn't write or speak it, but uh, I would be able to understand them. That was a good one. I like that <laughs> Your ship gets shipped, but they cheat on each other <laughs> That's so stupid. No, no, thank you. I don't even have a ship, so I did bad, bad scenario. <laughs> you get 10 G's of weed every day. Smoke weed every day. Smoke but you have to smoke it the day you get it, probably turning you into failure. No, I don't smoke weed, nor do I want to. Thanks. I, I mean, I don't have anything against weed or you if you smoke weed, but like, I, no. <laughs> you encounter $5 million, but it's a settlement and a divorce from your soulmate. 
Uh, I don't really understand divorce settlements, but th wouldn't that mean that you screw over your soulmate? Nah, nah, that, that sounds like a jerk move. <laughs> that was a good one, though. You are a member of the majority. You are safe with everyone others? But you have no individuality. No, why do I, why would I care? Absolutely not. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, ironic. I'm in the majority of people who voted not to do it. <laughs> that was a good one though. I kind of like, or maybe it's a bad one. I don't know. You're pressuring me to vote. You have your own world. Create and destroy as you please. Nice, very nice. But you cannot communicate or reveal yourself to your creations. Only watch. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, absolutely. I just make a place that's just super freaking awesome. Like, everyone loves to be there. I, and then th if I wanted to reveal myself to my creations, it'd basically just be like an ego trip. So, uh, yeah, that's a good one. I like that scenario. Good job. 29% of the last ones did press the button, freaking egomaniacs. <laughs> all right, and this should be the last question. You control the force and have all of Yoda's knowledge of the force. Oh my gosh. But you are not acceptance as Jedi Knight. I think it means you're not accepted as a Jedi Knight or Sith Lord Apprentice. You're just a random dude with random and all. Absolutely! What in a heartbeat? I mean, if this question takes place in our world, then there's no such thing as Jedi's or Sith Lords. So yeah, absolutely. And even if there were such thing as Jedi or Sith Lord, I'd just be awesome in their eyes if they didn't think I was a Jedi or a Sith. <laughs> so that's it for me. This was really fun and kind of awesome. Most of them had to do with like, you'll gain a power, but there's this weird thing that happens to you, which is cool. Uh, but I think I should also try out Will You Rather, which is kind of like this, but it's like, uh, will you rather do this or do this instead of you do this, but this happens. So this question is, you will get anything you want on your birthday next year, but you won't get any kind of presents in this remaining year. Uh, when Christmas is coming up, so that kind of sucks, but uh, I'm reading that so you guys can decide. Leave your answer to this if you would press the button or not in the comment section down below. But I'm stopping here because you know what they say, too much of a good thing means it's a drug. <laughs> and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.